Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Alex. He's my uh, brother-in-law and happens to be the bass player for East Orange. Singer, writer, all that kind of thing. He recently made a purchase on uh, Guitar Center, a used guitar. And I was on some forums and I was reading that people have concerns about Guitar Center like every once in a while you order something and the guitar was supposed to be new. Maybe it's been a demo and it's like got that feeling of being handled a lot. And then the other thing that I, I read about is like cases aren't matching up. <clears throat> and you actually had that happen where they, they had to go find the case. They had a really hard time finding the case, but um, shout out to Rooney who dug it, dug in there and found the case. So the two are not going to be separated because the sales really... associate was yeah. helpful. Yes. So yes. they're very helpful. So we're just kind of like we've had discussions amongst this Marcus here. And uh, we've been t and John and we've been talking about <clears throat> wondering, you know, what kind of condition it was going to be in. It's a 2013, so we're just hoping that when we get it out, it looks good. We waited 24 hours minimum. It's been even more than 24 hours because it's a nitro finish and all that. Probably would have been okay, but we were paranoid because we, you know, heard about nightmares of nitro cracking when you. Yeah, you don't want to risk it. <clears throat> yeah, why risk it? So our main thing that we want to do is open the bass to document opening this new cool bass for the band. But um, we just wanted to uh, see, you know, how what the condition of a guitar center used uh, guitar is. I know it's probably a crapshoot, you know, every they, time. <coughs> it was advertised as excellent condition. Yeah, and I've seen go. pictures of it. So I want to see, you know, is it really excellent? Um, I'm sure that it will be, but uh, it is a ten-year-old bass, so. Uh, you never know. Um, I bought guitars uh, without playing them first, and so far I've been lucky. So I'm hoping that this is a um, <clears throat> really a 2013 Gibson EB bass in excellent condition. <laughs> All right, so let's let's crack into it. So what we decided to do is we're going to just like cut the t the box or whatever, right, and then we'll drag it out. <clears throat> so I think they did a good job of. Uh, like, it looks well packed and shipped and everything, the box is like kind of box. It took a while for it to get to me. I paid for it next day here, but it actually took almost four days for UPS to get to me. Wow. Which is a little annoying. That's annoying to put it next day there. So I'm pulling it out over here. I'm off camera, I guess. Oh, this, this looks good. Wow, that looks great. Okay, so now... It was well packed. The case looks basically brand new. I don't know if you can see it from there. Sure does. I'll do some closer shots, yeah. insert shots. But this looks like I'm uh, thinking you're okay. I'm really happy they found yeah. that case. That's a beautiful case. That does look really nice. I gotta say. Yeah. It has like kind of a. It's like a snake skin old toilet. school kind of look to it. Yeah. And I love the way it says Gibson USA on there. That's really cool. Not bad. I've been really, I've got another Gibson, but it's acoustic, and I love the case on that one, too. I think Mark really has a, uh, a 50, a J, J50, that's the sweetest sounding acoustic guitar I've ever heard. <clears throat> Old mahogany. All right, here we go. The big reveal. Yep. At long last. Ooh, man, you love that. That's is. beautiful. Wow. The Gibson, 2013 Gibson. EB, I have been wanting something with humbuckers for this a long is, time. This is really nice, man. It looks like Christmas morning to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it looks pretty flawless. It looks like there might have been some finish transfer in the case at some point. Or just something. Look at this. Tiny bit of something. <clears throat> yep. Like right there, I too. would think that this would probably... I've heard that this white actually starts... Interesting. Getting, I'll get some shots you know, of this. There's like some little bits and... Like finish maybe coming off. Yeah, but it's a oh, beautiful it's got case. Got some paperwork, an owner's manual. So you get all oh, this stuff. You that's get cool. The, all this like stuff. That's really cool. Nice little leather pull right here. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, very nice. Wonderful. This, this is the sunburst finish with a Babbitt's bridge, Gorgeous which finish. are supposed to be great bridges. I love the flat finish. <clears throat> yeah. Beautiful. I, I would have picked black. this one, man. I like this. This matches up in my taste. It's a swamp ash body. Maple neck. It's a small, lightweight base. Very What's nice. the fretboard? Rosewood. Uh, rosewood. <clears throat> so we have rosewood. Beautiful maple yeah. neck. Really flat. 
Like, and it's not too big, but it's very much like a 12 inch radius type feel. Yeah. I don't know anything about bases. Is it the same? Do you know if the, what the radiuses I are? I don't even know that. <laughs> I, I don't. Well, it's got a volute, like a 70 style volute. Yep, it's got a volute. So this is like the cream base, the uh, Jack Bruce. Yeah, it's Bors. just, they came out with the EB, I guess, reissues, and I guess the reissues, but it may be a brand new, actually, I'm not sure, but they, they came out with EBs for a while, from like 2013 to 2017, I think, and then they just don't make them anymore, but um, that's the way they are with a lot of their bases. Okay, so it looks fantastic. I think you had a really lucky, good experience with Guitar Center. I don't know if that's indicative of how it always is. You know, every every this, retail outlet has its bad days, but um, I would I, call this excellent condition. Yeah, this is sure. quite good. Wouldn't you think? I don't see I, anything. Wrong. I don't see anything on the guitar that would bother me. Um, you know, when people it's talk good. about Gibson build quality, I don't see any of the stuff that people get upset about. You know, people, there's like no tool marks in the fretboard. Yeah, it, it got some criticism <laughs> for the um, fret edges being rough, but I don't really... They feel good. Yeah. And that's just to set up away from if that's if that's something that bothers you. <clears throat> but as far as like making a purchase, how much was this base? Uh, it was ten um, ninety nine. I mean, for a thousand dollar base? I would have been thrilled. I mean, it's, I think it's quite That's good. what I thought. It will get me into the world of humbuckers, and it's not, mm -hmm. you know. So what, our band. musical goal is we, we do like the Fender Gibson thing. We're either like doing Fender Clean with that kind of round sound, Fender amps, and single coil guitars, along with a single coil bass into an Ampeg classic and or. Which one do you have? I've no. got a jazz bass. No, which <clears> one is your oh, pick? That's the Heritage, Heritage. Um, 50th anniversary. <clears throat> so we're either doing a round Fender cleanish tone or we're doing the heavy gritty Gibson. So now he's got a bass to do the, the nasties with. Yeah, we have some songs that I want to try this on. You know, some of our harder stuff because uh, we've got a pretty powerful drummer and so we're loud. We're like, we're just, we're just loud. So I want to try Humbuckers. Um, and when I actually watched YouTube videos, all the Gibson basses, um, you know, the Thunderbirds, the SGs, everything that I was hearing, um, I just loved the tone. And I like some Gibson bass players. Uh, Rick Danko, you know, he played a gripper. And, uh, Rick played. We, last off, last we actually off. stumbled into Rick Danko in an alley. And yeah. what, year, what year was that? Probably 93. Wow. Was that the Variety Playhouse? Crazy. We were really blown away by him at that point. This is like a last waltz bass. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, and uh, or did he play a P bass in that movie? No, he played the uh, uh, gripper, I think Gibson. Wow, I'm impressed, man. <clears throat> and I think if somebody's wondering about Guitar Center and it looks okay online and you're reading bad things, this worked out well. Yeah, I'm so far so good. I'm happy. Do you want to plug it in and do a little on camera just to get the sound of it? Sure. All right, we'll just plug it in real quick and do a quick little, not anything major, but just make some noise. Heavy. I don't know. This is push and pull. This is, that's the, this is lower output, I guess. Just kind of cleans it up a little. You get a little bit more clackiness, string noise. Uh, a little fendery, more fender tone, and then you push it down and you get the nasty. Way more string noise with both of them. Push, bridge, and Top two pots push pull. I haven't even messed with them. And then that's like a master volume or master tone. 